Fair. Thanks for stopping by for another real time edit. Today I got a black skimmer. I know I've done quite a few of these already, but this one's a little bit different. Shot it with a slow shutter speed. Let's see what I was at. Come on, computer, catch up. There we go. 30th of a second at f4, 250 ISO. So uh, this was more of a pan blur, just trying to get the bird sharp and the background and everything around it blurring. And also after sunset, so just nice pastel colors. And I wanna show these pastel colors off a little bit more. So gonna go darker with the exposure, shadows up for more detail on the bird, blacks back down for contrast as always. Let's bring the highlights down as well. Try and get a little bit more tone. I think I'm gonna do a double process on this. So let's go darker overall. Yeah, I'm gonna also straighten it. It's really, really nice and crooked on that. So something like that looks better for the crop. Um, let's see, shadows back up a little bit more and then a little bit warmer, a little bit more magenta, um, just to kind of dial in those pastel colors back there. Drop a gradient on the top, drop the highlights again and the exposure overall just a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting the colors I want. Going to drop a gradient on the bottom, just make that darker so it's not standing out as much. Uh, the bird's a little too pink at this point, but I'll fix that in Photoshop. I'll do some selective color adjustments there. And for now, this looks like a good start to head into Photoshop. Uh, actually, let me drop just a, a radial on the head here and see if I can get a little bit more detail out of those shadows there. So I'll invert it, feather it just a touch, hide it so I can't see it, lighten a little bit, one more shadow kick up and then blacks back down for contrast. I'm just looking to get some eye, like I wanna see the eye in there a little bit. So I think that helped a little. All right, off to Photoshop we go. And let's see, what do I wanna do in here? Well. Nothing to clone. Well, maybe I'll just fix this little spot on the side of his head there that's just kind of jacked up. And nice. Yeah, I can definitely see the eye now. There we go. And look at that. Not bad. I mean, there's a little ghosting around the edge there. But for 30th of a second, not bad. That eye is pretty darn sharp. The fish is pretty sharp right here. And I'm going to actually probably go ahead and clean up this top edge. So I'll do that with some cloning. So I'm going to clone the background right over top of that edge like that. Mask it out, and then I'll paint it back in with a nice hard edge brush, and that way it'll kind of sharpen that edge for me. So I'll just cheat the uh, sharpness a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Just get rid of that ghost. I'm going to leave the ghosted image on the wing because that just kind of shows the motion up there. But having the head a little bit sharper is nice. And I could do the same around the bill, but I don't think it's necessary. I think that just kind of helps. See that? Just takes that soft edge away from the head there and brings that in sharper. So that's good for cloning. While I'm zoomed in here, might as well fix, not fix, but um, enhance the catch light in the eye. I'm going to make the fish stand out just a little bit more. Now, the, uh, the bill of this fish is actually darker, so I'll make that darker against the sky here so we'll just paint that in so that shows up a little bit more a dark edge along the top dark edge along the tail is pretty good i also think the top of the skimmer there is just getting a little bit washed out from my adjustments uh, i could use a little bit more contrast on the black of the wings back here so we'll do that and then i'm gonna throw a curves adjustment layer on it to get rid of some of that some of those pink tones there's just too much of them on the skimmer's wing and back i know the sky is a little bit of pink and pastel but i think it was just kind of going too much and making the bird look a little off and then lastly there's just some blue tone showing in the whites there so i'm going to throw a hue and saturation adjustment layer on yank those blues down and then just paint that out of there we go cleans that up i'll leave the blue in the fish because that makes sense all right uh, I'm going to do a burn layer across the bottom, just kind of darken this up even a little bit more down here. And then let's throw some saturation on the whole thing. There we go. Now the greens are popping. Now the red of the bill is just like insane. So let me back off of that a little bit. And then, uh, oh, let me go back to the clone layer. There's like, I think it was actually a power line up top here. So let me just clone that out. 
And then lastly, I want to make this sky really peachy. So a little bit warmer, a little bit more red, a little bit magenta, maybe. Something like that looks pretty good. So use color range selection so I can hopefully just select the sky there. Let's see how well that does. Ooh, almost losing all of the skimmer. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Sky all selected. Done. Fill that. I will come in with the paintbrush manually and just paint along here so it's not, oops, so it's not a, uh, like a hard kind of selected edge around where that uh, color range just did. But yeah, that worked perfectly to allow me to get that color change everywhere and keep the skimmer nice and clean. So just fix those little areas left on him. And yeah, there we go. Now we really got that pink peachy tone going. And so total before, after. Yes, I'm liking that. Yeah, this is something a little different, you know? That's pretty cool. All right, save that. We'll go back to Photoshop and check the total before and after. Uh, while I'm waiting for that to happen, just a reminder, if you want to learn more about what I just showed you here in a much slower fashion, more detailed fashion, and you can ask questions, head on over to rayhennessy.com, go to the workshop sections. You can check out the mentorships if you want to work ongoing, or just head over to online workshops and then look for the remote session there to find out more details about that and get in touch to learn more. All right, back to Lightroom. Here we have our final edit compared to the straight out of camera. Pretty good difference there, but all of the uh, detail was there in the beginning. You know, it's just washed out. Just had to drop that exposure a little bit, get that tone back, which is how it looked in the sky when I shot it. And this is a little bit more of what my eye can see. Maybe a little bit enhanced, but I'm okay with that. And there we go. Something a little unique with a panning blur showing the motion, nice pastel tones. And then, of course, having the fish is a bonus. So I'm really happy with that one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you at the next one.